them your permit to drive an automobile your license to use the highway system of the United States. I am only a card in your wallet or purse, yet I unroll before your eyes a magic carpet, the millions of miles of highways and byways that crisscross the nation. I am your round-trip travel ticket, your passport to pleasure. With me, you can motor from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Gulf to the Great Lakes. You can travel with me as your only identification. I am the only commuter's ticket you need to drive to and from school or work, day after day, year after year. I have become vital to more than 50 million people in this land of ours. I am their constant companion. I go with them wherever they go. The farmer, on his way at sunup. The bus driver, the truck driver, the ambulance driver, the policeman, the cab driver. No matter who they are, no matter where they are, I am with them. With me in their possession, the drivers of our millions of rubber-tired vehicles help keep turning the wheels of our national economy, whether they roll over highway or city street. For in the past 25 years, driving has opened the gate of commerce between city and farm, factory and consumer. With me in their possession, the daily life of millions has taken on new meaning. The family, the individual, has a freedom of movement so new it did not exist in the youth even of our own parents. For the automobile has brought with it, in less than a lifetime, a new way of life a new standard of living, a standard of living matched by no other nation in the world. Because of the automobile, new industries have taken their place on our national landscape to add billions to our wealth by providing goods, services, and job opportunities undreamed of only yesterday. Our whole way of living has become geared to the automobile. I am your permit, your license, your permission to drive. I am a privilege and an obligation. Your obligation to drive skillfully, carefully, and legally. This year, there will again be thousands of innocent victims of those who will not recognize this obligation. I will be among the last papers of tens of thousands who will have no further use for me. And I may be merely a means of identification of almost a million whose injuries may be permanent. A million accident victims whose numbers contain twice as many 15 to 24 year old drivers as any other. Over and over, I ask myself, why? Is it the supposed thoughtlessness of youth that takes such a toll? Is it inexperience that leads to the taking of foolish chances? Is it the failure of adults to teach the young people the right way to drive? Or is it my fault? Have I allowed myself to become taken for granted? I try to tell people when they write their names across my face that they're signing more than a signature, that they are signing a pledge, a pledge to be the kind of driver they want others to be. I try to tell people that as a nation of more than 50 million drivers, we owe to each other the courtesy, the fair play each of us expects. 